Hello everybody, this is Cindy at Cindy's Place and this is my granddaughter Savannah. Um, we have been harvesting herbs out of my garden and uh, today we're going to be doing lemon balm and we're showing you how we process it. Um, we already have a dehydrator full of lemon balm and we're going to be putting another batch in but let us show you how we process it. So I'm going to let Savannah take it from here and uh, We'll, uh, she's learning how to do all this stuff, so I'll let her show you how we do this. So here we go. Okay, so I'm going to have Savannah do this so she learns how to do it. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open our dehydrator and take out your first tray and stand it up long ways. There we go. And we have our blender over there. Just take the top of the blender. Yeah. And we're going to put our lemon balm that's been dehydrated carefully into the blender. It's like in big chunks. In very big chunks and it's not letting to go. And what I do is just take a piece of thick uh, really thick paper that's actually uh, watercolor paper that I folded in half to act as a way to put it into the dehydrator. You have to hold the lid down. I know. Figure it out. Oh my gosh. You got it right. You just have to hold it down. Oh yeah, because it's broken. Yeah. And then we put it in the dehydrator. In the dehydrator? In or the, the food, food processor, food basically. Processor. Yeah. Put it on. Chop. And it's, it's noisy, bad. folks. Plug yours. Take your headphones out. And we're going to chop it until it is in small pieces. Chopped up pretty good. Yep. Okay. Ooh, it smells good. It smells lemon balm always smells yummy. And then I just put it into this bag. Oh. <laughs> Blade just fell in. Okay, and we're going to do that to all four trays. Okay, now what we're going to do is uh, fill our trays with the lemon balm that needs to be dehydrated. And we're just going to put it even single layer, not very thick, just enough to cover the bottom of our lemon balm that needs to be dehydrated. We didn't make you sit through the whole dehyd uh, chopping, but this is how much we got out of the last dehydrator worth that we just chopped. And it was pretty noisy, so we didn't want you to sit through that, <laughs> chopping all that up. So she's just going to put a single layer and sit them on top of each other on the dehydrator. And always make sure that your hands are nice and clean when handling any kind of food. Of course, you know that. We're going to put the rest in the bottom, or actually it'll end up being the top tray. And spread that all out nicely. OK, 
Okay. These you can just dump in the top. Dump it in. Okay, and we're going to put on the lid. Yeah, it just fits down on top. There you go. Okay, now you got to plug it in. Cord's not that long. I know, it does have a short cord. Okay, and on the front. See where it says temperature? Yeah. Temperature? It says 130, but we want 115. 115. And then hit the time. Just the top part of the button. And this is going to be for 10. 10 hours. It takes about 10 hours to get it all nice and crispy. There start. you go. And hit start. And we are dehydrating. And uh, this is a Hamilton Beach dehydrator. And it really does a super good job. And uh, we didn't have our trays super filled this time because we just had a little bit left. Um, but it does a really good job. I'm really happy with it. As a matter of fact, um, I have so much dehydrating that I do that next year I'm going to get another one. So I have two dehydrators going at the same time. So while that's dehydrating, and now that we have our chopped lemon balm in our bag here, we're going to show you how we put it into our tea bags. Okay, now what we do with our lemon balm, I make mine into tea bags. So here's the tea bags. You can get these relatively inexpensive at Walmart, or you can order them online. They're very easy to come by. And they usually come in a package of 150. So they're very happy, very happy, very handy to have. And what she's doing is she's dumping out a little bit of the lemon balm, the dehydrated lemon balm, and it's been crushed. And she's going to pick out any stems that may have been left in, because you don't want those in your tea bags. And if you have a few small stems, it's okay, but you pick out the big stuff. Thank okay. you? Yeah. yeah. Then she's going to open her tea bag. And she's going to use a small spoon and stuff the tea bag. And you want to stuff the tea bag all the way full. And these are good sized tea bags. They're not the tiny ones, they're the medium sized because I, I like my tea to be a little bit strong. A little bit more. Huh? Packed full? Um, or just filled to the top? Filled to the top. Filled to the top. Yeah, you don't want to pack it down too tight because you want the water to be able to circulate through the tea. Ready? Yeah, and you pull it tight. Pull it tight. It's like a drawstring. You pull it oh, tight. Like a drawstring. There you go. Make sure it's really super tight. You don't want your tea leaves getting out. And then I tie it into a knot three times. This is the way I do it. Make sure it's nice and tight. Last thing you want is a leaky tea bag, huh? Yeah. And you put it in your tea, your hot water, and you have tea leaves everywhere. You don't want that. Okay. Okay. And there's our first tea bag. See, it's all nice and full of the lemon balm tea and it's sealed ready to go into our teacup and when you make this into tea it's really good it's supposed to be very calming for your stomach and it tastes very lemony and it's really good um, add a teaspoon of sugar to it if you like and you let it steep for maybe 10-15 minutes to make sure to get all the flavor out of the lemon tea and it makes a really good cup of tea. 
and you can mix it and match it with other teas if you like. Um, I like mine with Earl Grey and the Lemon Balm and it really tastes good, to me at least. But you can mix and match however you like. But Lemon Balm has a very, uh, it's very fragrant, very lemony and it has a really good taste. Is that full? Yeah. And this is how we make our tea bags. And I do this with the lemon balm. I do it with the spearmint, so you can have spearmint tea. Um, you can do it with uh, any of the mints. The chocolate mint, spearmint, uh, peppermint, whatever. Dehydrate them, chop them, and put them into tea bags. But remember when you use fresh herbs like this, fresh dehydrated herbs, uh, you're going to want to let your tea steep for at least 10 minutes, at least 10 minutes in really hot water to get all the flavor out and it really makes a yummy cup of tea. I like to put the uh, a bag of lemon balm tea, lemon balm into my iced tea that I make for the summertime. I use regular black pico tea and put one bag of the lemon balm in with the tea bags when I'm steeping it for my iced tea in it gives it that lemony flavor and it's really really good and spearmint also is very good to put in with your iced tea oh everything smells so good right now it's like mega lemon smell <laughs> very nice There's lemon wafting out going over here Lemon red in front of us. <laughs> really good, really good for teas. And you can also use the lemon balm flakes. I keep some of that in a, um, a little uh, herb jar to uh, use for. I like to put it in with my fish, give it that kind of a lemony flavor in uh, when I'm cooking fish. So it's really good for both. Okay, we thought we'd just uh, give you a little sampling of how we put our tea bags together and how we use our lemon tea and how we process it. So, there's our, this is what we got from our harvest for a couple days ago, and we've been dehydrating lemon balm for two days now. <laughs> and uh, we've got our last bit in the uh, dehydrator there. And all of it is going to go into tea bags and a small portion into an herb jar for cooking. So um, thanks for joining us today. We just kind of wanted to show you our process. And thank you to my granddaughter, Savannah, for helping out today. And she learned how to do this on her own. So maybe one day when she has her own garden, she can make her own tea. So we'll talk to you guys later. And thank you so much for joining us. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello everybody. Uh, this is Cindy and my granddaughter Savannah. My camera's doing weird things. Um, <laughs> we're starting to soar. <laughs>